How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of The Ranked Report. We've got one more episode with our guy Hall Lucha. Um, and this matchup seems unfavourable. <laughs> um, there's a lot of stuff that makes this kind of difficult. Like, Hall Lucha is weirdly not great into, like, Chen Dragonite leads, because... Um, Sash Chen Pao or like Terra Ghost Chen Pao lives a close combat and then they can Ice Spinner. And if they Ice Spinner into my NDD, they then open up the opportunity for Dragonite to start clicking Extreme Speed, which becomes an issue. I guess the other... Uh, I was going to say there's a line where we have a Trick Room, but then a Moongus kind of stops that. Yeah, I don't think I can bring all of this one. I think it, I think Goggles NDD is still pretty good. Um, I could just go T-Tar again. Um... The other options I go for, like, I think Arcs are really good lead here. I don't have goals on my Arc, though, which is a bit annoying. Yeah, I need to bring, I think I bring in DD somewhere. I don't know if I lead it, necessarily. Um, I don't think, like, Fluttermane Arcanine is a lead here. Um, if they need a move, because I have Sub, and I can switch in my DD, which I think is valuable here. And then I think it's T-Tar rather than Sandy Shocks. Makes the most sense to me. Palafin could be kind of annoying. I don't think I've brought enough of Palafin. I've got Terracross Arcanine, which is actually pretty good in this matchup. Um, the one big issue is that it makes it very weak to Chen Pao, um, which is not great. But we will see. We will see what my opponent's up to. Okay. Someone took the Apathetic. Okay, they go Fluttermane and Chen Pao, which is a good lead for my Arcanine, at the very least. Um... Uh, with Champ on the field too, I'm pretty sure, um, their flat is dead to a flare blitz here. Okay. We don't see a Protosynthesis boost or anything there. Arcanine. Summary. Yeah, this thing's like... Okay, it's Adam with some attack. It's not a huge amount of attack, but it's a decent amount of attack. Um, the max HP, max speed, which is interesting. Um... So I kind of want to switch into Indeedy here, but I think I can save that for a bit later in the game. <sighs> Terra Water is kind of nice as well. Um, I don't hate, like, Terra Water Moonblast into this and then just Flare Blitz the... Yeah, I don't I don't hate this. Okay, Chimpa goes out. Maybe a Moongus? Some sort of Teary I'd use this. Oh, okay, I'll get some damage down into... Um... There, Arcanine. I can see this being terror for my opponent just to get around a uh, potential Shadow Ball from me, though. Maybe I should just root to Shadow Ball. Maybe I was trying to be too fancy with that. Because, like, Shadow Ball Flare Blitz, um, like, Shadow Ball there, Fluttermane and Flare Blitz 2 would have equally worked. Okay, they Shadow Ball my Arc. They leave their uh, Fluttermane wide open. That's a lot of damage. That looks like Specs. I'm pretty sure that's Specs. Okay, uh, good to note on specs. I got Moonblast, I hit the Arc for pretty reasonable damage. I will also hit this for pretty reasonable damage. That's very reasonable damage. Okay, I have a fun play here. Given this is specs into Shadow Ball, I have a kind of an interesting play here where I can go for Protect in f to, uh, on Flutter and just go in DD here. And that opens up the opportunity for me to go for Follow Me and Sub. Uh, which I think puts me in a pretty good spot, because then I can switch my Arcanine back in and I'm safe for a turn. Um, he comes in. Plus protects. And they go Shadow Ball into the DD, yep. And then... Sunny Day? That's fine. Yeah, they're trying to give themselves a Protosynthesis boost, uh, which makes some sense, I guess. I guess Sunny is kind of scary. But yeah, I can just sub here and... I mean, I guess they're Fluttermane switches, right? So I could try and play more aggressively off the back of that, but I don't think I need to. I think following me subs just fine here. Okay, my opponent tried to E-speed in Psychic Trade. And also is fetched into Shadow Ball. 
uh, in front of an Indeedy. So that is an awful, awful turn by my opponent. Don't really know what they're cooking, but it gives me a free sub, so I will not complain. Um, who did they have back end again? They had Chen Pao, they had... Um, also, their Flutter is faster than mine, so worth noting. I'll do this, and then I will follow me again. Yeah, um, that was a really bad play for my opponent. I guess I'm low. I'm not that low ladder. I'm like mid. Okay, that goes out. In turns, who's this? Show me Chen Pao. Ooh, feels good. Okay. Oh, I'm protecting Arcanine. My opponent is playing very passive, and it's not working for them. Follow me. I will go ahead and move lost this thing. Get deleted, please. Thank you. That's the Sash, yep. I also still have my own Arcanine in the back, which is nice. Um, oh no, special attack drop. Um, how many turns left on Psychic Train? <clears throat> mm, sorry. How many turns left on Psychic Train? I want to say two? Yeah, okay. Fine. Um, I want to shadow all the Arcanine, because then that opens up um, angles where I'm picking things off with extreme speed, which is useful. Um, I think I still just follow me, honestly. Um, I don't know there's much reason not to. A good Ice Spinner here, I guess. Get rid of the terrain, and then... Okay, they're going to take out my Indeedee here. Shovel comes out. They are also Citrus. Okay, interesting. Um, okay, Flare Blitz, yep. That makes sense. Blitz into Indeedee. Um, so Arcanine's the obvious switch in here. What I'm considering here is basically, is there a reason for me to not just make the really, really obvious play of Extreme Speed and Shadow Ball? Like, they could switch into Flutter, but I don't think I want to risk my Flutter main on that. Because if I get that wrong and they E-Speed and Ice Spinner, then I'm in a bit of trouble. Uh, nah, maybe I'll go for the player. Um, I get it back, so that's just as good. Alright, does this break some? I'm very, very physically bulky, and they're intimidated. Okay, Fluttermane's subs are very small. Okay, noted. Okay, I'll come to that move. Um, this is nothing. Sorry, I'm cracking my knuckles. I shouldn't do that. Sunlight's gone. I do still have Terra, which I need to be wary of. Um, just flutter back in. We've seen that they're flutter. It's Dragonite. Oh, they want to e-speed me. Okay, fine. fine, fine. Um. So I think what I can do here is I can go for... Can I protect? Protect Willow, I think isn't the worst move. I think I'm Terra... Just Terra Normal Dragonite. Yup. Okay. Um, I should have actually e-speeded the Chen Pao there. Because if they hit my Arcanine here, I'm in a really bad spot if they've got Sacred Sword. Okay. My opponent let me get away with that, but I think that was actually a, kind of a bad move from me. Um, oh, they just doubled. Okay, that was a really bad move from my opponent. Willow comes out. Burns this guy. 
Okay. Um, I have E-Speed on deck again now. Um, I think I just go for it. Do I just E-Speed Moonblast? Um... Let me think. E-Speed Moon Lost, E-Speed will take out the Dragonite. I have T-Tar back into deal with Flutter, which I think just wins me the game 100% of the time. Yeah, I think that's fine. They could switch into Flutter. The other option I have is I switch my Flutter main into... Um, into T-Tar, which I kind of don't hate. Um, so that just gets around like my opponent's switching, and I can just go for a Flare Blitz into this guy. Maybe I'm trying to overcomplicate this. But like if they go for the, the double up into into Fluffman here, it just lets me preserve some HP. Um They do just double up into the flutter again. Or I presume they do at least. Oh they don't wait, they're not choice banded? Oh hold on. Uh, that is absolutely fine, because I love that down with E speed. Um, okay, Chempa drops. And then Dragonite is not quite dead to that, but I can E speed it this turn. Um, which forces it to in turn E speed me. Um, Necessary. No, 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 actually, I've got a guaranteed win here, um, if I just protect. So my guaranteed win here is I crunch and I protect, because if I crunch and protect, then the chip from sand and the burn takes out the Dragonite, and then it's a 2v1, worst case here, it's a 2v1 um, arc flutter into flutter, and I can just go for flare blitz and um, shadow ball, and then I'm fine. Okay, I mean, they catch me protecting, but like I said, this is guaranteed. So there's no reason not to go for it. Does this even? I don't think this even kills. I'll be honest with you. There's no proto boost or anything. It is specs. Yeah, not even remotely close. AVT Tor is bulky. Um, yeah, like even if they go for like low kick and moonblast there, um, because the Dragonite goes down, there is then no way they can take out my Flutterman and my Arcanine in the same turn. Um, because Spectclean won't kill um, Flutter from, from that range. Which means I get a, I get a guaranteed move lost. And if they go for a single target move, then whichever Pokemon they don't hit just kills the Flutter. Um, so I win regardless. Whereas if I'd gone for E-Speed, there's a chance they like E-Speed my Arcanine and then... Wait, hold on, what am I saying? Uh, oh wait, no, actually, I guess E-Speed's still guaranteed there, because even if they E-Speed Arcanine, like, Specs, like, even Specs Plus is not KOing my T-Tar. Um, I guess maybe, like, Specs Moonblast Crit could have been a lose con if I go for E-Speed there. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a quick look at what this calc is. Yeah, that is a flutter main. It's specs. We've established. Um, so a crit moonblast in sand has a 31% chance to KO. I don't know what my EV spread is on T-Tar, but on like a <clears throat> a regular old EV, a, a regular old T-Tar EV spread, if they're like max special attack flutter main they have a slim chance to Oko my t with a crit, which would then lose me the game. Um, so I think it is still technically correct that going for Protect there is always the optimal move. Okay, we've got one last run with the team... <sighs> I really want to bring in Didi Horlooch to this game, but I don't think it's the best move. <laughs> I really don't think it's the best play here. 
but I really want to bring the Horlucha, because Horlucha is cool, and I want to win a game, another game with Horlucha. Maybe I'll go Horlucha and Didi here. Maybe I'll just do it. Should we just do it? Let's just do it. So what if they intimidate me, and then bring in their Chiyu and go Heat Wave? Hold on, actually, that's really bad if they go Chiyu Heat Wave. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, Chiyu Heat Wave is actually very bad for me, if they do that. Oh, bringing Horlucha here, big risks losing the game. But I can't start with Horlucha if I don't bring it. It's worth noting, I think. Let's do it. Screw it. Why not? It's the last game. Uh, and then I bring... Again, Tito's super good into the um, Fluttermane Chiyu here. Um, the one worry is maybe that Dragonite, so I could bring Fluttermane to deal with that, I think. Does relatively well. Let's do this. Okay. Uh, I Again, I will say I do not think Horlucha is the correct move here. I think a better move would be to lead... Uh, like Indy Titar, for example, would be pretty good into this. Um, or like Arcanine Titar. Something like that. Um, you got Palafin, yeah. So like Arcanine Titar would have been a really nice lead for me here. Um... Or, you know, Arcanine plus literally anything. Okay, Psyche Search goes up. I'm going to Sword Stance here. And I'm going to follow me. And my opponent will never see it coming. Apart from the bit where they do. Um, let's go for Sword Stance. And let's go for Follow Me. Palafin goes out. Makes sense. Dragon comes in, also make oh that also makes sense. Follow me, happens. Hey Willow, that hits my DD. That's for true. Okay. I have a prediction here, which is I think this Dragonite wants to go for a big ol' E-speed. So I can circumvent the E-speed by going for a Terrifier here. Um, which, again, I will say I don't think is my best move, but I want to win with Horlucha. And if I get hit by Terra Normal E-Speed here, I think Horlucha just dies. So, let's make the Swaggy play. And let's go Acro into Arc, and Psychic also into... Oh, did I Terra there? I think I did, yeah. I'll get Terra Acro into Arc, and Psychic also into Arc. And I will circumvent the E-Speed I think they're trying to hit me with. This also means they can't Jet Punch me, which is nice. Um, although not immensely relevant, I guess. Um, okay, Lucha. Big guns. Big Bird. E-Speed me. They didn't E-Speed! No! My play! Oh no! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. This is very bad. Aerial Ace. Living Terrifier survives. Okay, let's go. Psychic happens. Oh, dies. Okay. Big crit. Didn't matter. Um, here's the problem. Um, Palafin. <laughs> End of problem. <laughs> okay. We've got a Howled Up Dragonite, which I do not like. Um... We have got a Palafin back end, and I have got three water weaknesses uh, left in the back. Wait, did I bring Flutter or did I bring. Ah. Oh. I brought Flutter, didn't I? I think it was Flutter. I did bring Flutter, okay. Uh, not worst case. Um, I'll just close combat the Palafin here, um, and then I will follow me again. I'm protects. Fine. I'm guessing this is choice banded. If they click Ice Spin here, I'd just lose. But <laughs> but they won't, so it's fine. Um... Yeah, that's going to be banded into Aerial Ice. Um... Which means that if I can clear... Actually, oh, hold on. If I clear out the Palafin, I'm in super good shape here. Um... 
I'm gonna go close combat into Palafin. I think I just psychic the Palafin here as well, actually. I don't think following me actually achieves anything, because so they're not gonna priority move me. Yeah, I think this makes sense. Oh, that's interesting. I should have gone acrobatics. Oh, acrobatics would have been so sick there. They get... What boost? What boost? What boost? What boost? Special attack. Okay. Oh, I should just click acro. I guess if I'm going acro psychic, that would have always killed. That's so annoying. That's so annoying. I mean, this is a pretty free switch for T-Tar at the very least. Um, it's like you can do a good chunk of damage to this in terrain. Yeah, that's pretty good damage. Spit after up is nice. Um, so I have plays here. Um, I think I need to... I'm bringing in T-Tar for sure. This thing's... Like, the Dragonite's banded into Aerial Ace. Uh, I'm pretty sure. So they're forced... That was a weird angle. Um, they're forced to switch their Palafin. I think. Um, there's only one turn left on Psychic Terrain. I'm gonna rock. I, I, I'm gonna rock side and switch my Flutter Main here. I don't think there's any chance they go for a Shadow Ball into a DD. That'd be a weird move. Um, this just means that I get my Psychic Terrain back up, um, which means that I can then prevent Palafin from jet punching my Flutter Main, um, which is kind of important here. I'm guessing this also means no switches from my opponent. I guess they're going to aerialize my Flutter here is the issue. What Terra is this? Terra Fairy? It is. Okay, it's probably Terra Fairy Gleam. Um, which I should be fine with, right? It is Moonblast. Crap. I live. Bro, he does an absolute tank. What the hell? Aerialize will do more damage than I want to, but it's fine. Rockslide comes out. Okay, that's dead to... Um, dead to the sand. Left it by sand. Left it by sand. So I can guarantee KO the Dragonite here. This is Banded Dragonite, they've used their Terror. So Dragonite goes down, but the problem is I'm in a really awkward endgame spot against Palafin now. Um, I'm kind of forced to switch in DD. Yeah. Do I move lost the Palafin? Mm, I think I want to take it down to a 2v1. I could have maybe stayed in to make a read there, uh, that they wouldn't jet punch me, because the DD switch is so obvious. We will see. Okay, they go for jet punch, that's fine. Um, I get the play correct. I think that wins me the game now. Because <clears throat> I just go follow me in Moonblast, um, and then I Moonblast again. Um, sand, that's fine. Do I follow me? Or do I do I psych it? I could psych it here actually. Just for a load of very immediate damage. And I mean DD is at risk of just dying to burn eventually, so I think I'm gonna follow me here. I'd follow me Moonblast. Um This feels pretty safe. And then next time I'm just gonna move Okay, they protect, that's fine. That's kinda not anything. Um Follow me, I'm not good to burn here, so I am big chillin'. Move lost. Something gets buffeted. Okay. Need help by burn. There are three more turns of psychic drain. Moonblast protect. Yeah, I think I'm safe here. Go follow me. I go moonblast. Ah, I should have gone for Psychic. Psychic would have been the better play there. Uh, 
Ah. How much is that on sound? I didn't check. I'm gonna need sound to expire pronto. Actually, I'm gonna need sound to expire next turn. Um. <laughs> Next turn will turn after wins me the game, I think. Unless they double protect. Oh, wait, no, even if they double protect, that still wins me the game. Uh, one turn left to Sandstorm, so I'm not taking sand damage. That's nice. I crunch here, and I move lost. Okay, that's game. I win! Oof. Okay. I could have made that a lot easier for myself by not bringing Horlucha, but I wanted to bring Horlucha, so. <laughs> the game plan was bring Horlucha and simply play better than I'd otherwise have to. Um. A lot of that did come down to whether or not they made a read on the um, on the Indeedee switch in, which they didn't. Um, so we kind of got away with it. Um. <laughs> so it's like the the bell curve, where um, against like a, a kind of a, a less accomplished player, um, they go, "Oh, I can jet punch the um, the palafin hit the palafin." I can jet punch the, um, what the hell word am I looking for? Fluttermane. So I can jet punch the Fluttermane and win the game. Um, and then there's the middle of the bell curve, which is like, kind of your average player going, ah, the Indeedy switch is really obvious, I'm going to read that. And then you get to the far side. And then it's a really good player go like, the Indeedy switch in is so obvious that my opponent is not going to go for it. And they're going to go for the attack instead. And they jet punch anyway. Um, but yeah, I don't know which end of the spectrum my opponent fell on, but whichever end it was, it was fine. It won me the game. Um, okay, so that was a pretty good week with Horlucha, I'll be honest with you. I think it's very, very cool that a team with Horlucha, Sandy Shops, and Titar um, did so well at EYC. Um, and again, thank you, uh, Francisco, for sending me the rental code for this. Um, much appreciated. Uh, love the team. Very, very cool. Um... And yeah, that is going to be it for this week's episode. Um, as always, um, if you enjoyed the content, please do uh, leave a like on the video, sub to the channel if you haven't already, and also comment down below what your favourite underused Pokemon is that you think could have a niche in the metagame. Because, um, like, Horlutra is very cool, and it's very, like, it's not used really at all. Um, and I'm not saying it's the best Pokemon in the game, but, like, it has a niche. As we've seen over the last few episodes, like it can be pretty destructive. So, what, like, what, what, what is your favourite Pokemon that you think could work uh, but isn't used very much? Drop that in the comments, and I will see if I can find a team that has that Pokemon in it. Or if you have a rental code with that team uh, with that Pokemon in it, then also fire it my way. Uh, would be much appreciated. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, big love to my boy Holucher, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye.